It's Carol Bews in from the Women's Bookshop with the book review, and it's a new one by Barbara Kingsolver, so you better go for it, Carol. Most well, people are huge fans. This oh, one's called Demon Copperhead. Yes, yes. And, you know, she's famous. She's written lots of novels, but particularly famous for Poisonwood Bible, which was has been her standout novel. And I do believe that Demon Copperfield is up there with the Poisonwood Bible. Um, he was christened Damon. Of course, at school, the kids turned it into Demon. He's Copperhead because he's got red hair and also there are copperhead snakes in the Appalachian Mountains in the area where he lives. Um, born to a, a mother, um, single teenager, um, and based on David Copperfield, the Dickens novel. So Demon Copperhead, David Copperfield. Now you can read this novel completely on its own with no knowledge of David Copperfield at all. But I think anyone who has an, a knowledge of David Copperfield would see all the parallels and realise how absolutely clever it is. It's quite brilliant. It's a very big novel. It's 540 pages and it's big in heart as well. And Demon is the most wonderful boy. He's 10 and 11 years old through all the first part of it and has the most terrible, terrible upbringing in foster homes. Um, I actually think there's a a relevance here for our own New Zealand inquiry into abuse and state care. Um, He is treated appallingly by people who don't necessarily mean to be cruel but are desperate themselves and are poverty-stricken and there's a terrible scene where he has to cut tobacco uh, with the other um, foster boys working for this farmer. They're, They're worked like slaves. It's really, really hard. But they're also um, kind people. There's the the Peggots, and you'll recognise the Peggotties from from David Copperfield. The Peggot family are kind to him, and Maggot, their son, is his his best friend. Um, but they go at one point to visit Aunt June, who is um, one of the Peggots' daughters, and she's a nurse in town. And he's astonished that she. He lives in an apartment and says, but there's no outside. Where do they grow their tomatoes? He has a sort of charm about him. And Aunt June recognises that his real talent is drawing. He draws superheroes. So his appalling um, stoner, his appalling stepdad early in the book, who beats him and abuses him and is appalling to him, he goes away and hides and draws these wonderful super superheroes and in Stoner's case, he's being smashed and crashed and, and exterminated in various appalling ways. And that's how he expresses his emotions. But he's charming and witty. And there's a lovely moment when, um, when they're visiting Aunt June and he, he's there for Christmas and he feels awkward because he's a, an outsider. He's not part of the family. He shouldn't really be there. And Aunt June gives him drawing papers and beautiful equipment to to do his artwork with. And he says, after mom died, I'd not wanted to draw any more at all. But now I couldn't wait to run off somewhere and get started. I'd make a superhero of Aunt June as Wonder Nurse, putting a new heart back inside a boy that had his own torn out. And there are moments like that where you just go, oh, and people help him throughout. I mean, it, it, it's um, there's poverty. There's there's the opioid epidemic is is um, opioid epidemic is is explored as well. Um, there's a a teacher, a black man, a teacher counselor later on who makes him understand. His own, and recognise his own resilience, that he's kept his good humour, um, he's kept his good heart and his morality and his charm, even though he's been treated so badly. Um, and he's, this, this counsellor says to him at one point, you know, sometimes you hear about these miracles where a car gets completely mangled in a wreck, but then the driver walks out of it alive. Well, I'm saying to you, you are that driver. And he makes this boy understand that he, um, you know, he, he's a survivor. I just must mention, if I've got time, U-Haul, who is the wonderful Uriah Heap character. And anyone who knows David Copperfield will know the slimy, ghastly, conniving Uriah Heap. Well, U-Haul is the apparently assistant coach of a rugby coach of a team that that demon gets into and is a huge success in. And U-Haul is the most creepy, ghastly character. You feel as though he's made of slimy rubber and his hand sort of appears around the door frame. And he's, he is really, really creepy and, and brilliantly done. Very funny. Um, but you love Demon. He wants to get to the sea. He was born, um, his mother's waters didn't break, so when he was actually born, he was still in the amniotic sac. And he believes that the sea 
would always be kind to him. And so the entire novel, he's trying to get to the sea. And he believes the sea is the one big thing I know that is not going to swallow me right. alive. Right. And you know he's going to be okay. It's, it sounds like a wonderful oh, novel. Great. It's huge and brilliant. Thank you, Carol Bue has reviewed Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. It's published by Faber, $37 the price.